Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to solve question number third of exercise 13.1. And in this question, it is given that in the question number two, if one part of a red pigment requires 75 ml of base, how much red pigment should we mix with 1800 ml of base? So obviously this is regarding the second question, and we know that in the second question. We were making uh, a paint by mixing red pigment with base, and we know that the red pigment and the base should be mixed in proportion. Here, solving this question uh, can be this this question can be solved in three ways. First of all, there are two two things. One is red pigment. And the second is base. And if the red, it is given that if one part of red pigment requires seventy-five mL of base, you have to find how much red pigment will be required for eighteen mL of base. So we know that whenever these are mixed, these are mixed in proportion. Means the number of times. This is mixed the same number of times. This must also be mixed. So this is actually mixed twenty-four times. Means you, uh, this base has increased twenty-four times. So clearly the red pigment must also increase twenty-four times. Or in other words, you can say the red pigment must be twenty-four parts. So this is the first method to solve this. The second method is to solve this. You have to remember one thing that in direct proportion, direct proportion, we do divide d for direct proportion and d for divide. This is how you can remember this. And if you want to solve this. Basically, you have to find the value of x, which is the part of red pigment. So you have to find this x. You can write x as this. Now you have to write equals to, and the value above this variable must be written here. Now we know that this is a direct proportion, and we need to divide. And this complete value must be written as it is. So seventy-five upon. One eight zero zero. So according to board mass, we know that whenever we have to convert, divide into multiply on the right uh, right hand side number, this get reciprocal. Means the denominator becomes numerator and the numerator becomes denominator. So again, the value of x must be cancelling this. Seventy five into two is one fifty. Carry thirty, and this will be four times. So the value of x will come twenty-four, same as this. And there is another way which we taught, which we learn at school, that seventy-five mL of base requires one part of red pigment. So you can find. One mL of base will require how many parts of red pigment? So clearly, when this is this decrease, so this must also be decreased. So, in other words, you have to divide this by seventy-five. So seventy-five mL of base requires one part of red pigment. So clearly, one mL of base require. Bar upon seventy-five parts of red pigment. Now you have to find that eighteen hundred mL of base will require bar upon seventy-five. Now, you, in other words, you have multiplied this with eighteen hundred. So we have to multiply this also with eighteen hundred parts. Now again, solving this, the same answer, which is twenty-four, will come. So these are the three methods. You can use any of these, but it is in the school. 
if you want to score you have to write you have to use this but to understand it better this is the best method to solve any question which is based on direct proportion so this is how you can solve this question 